Yeah. Yeah, may I tell you, Jamaica, what a big cultural embarrassment, eh? Stop a rasta youth from going to school because I'm here, eh? Because of this, eh? But you tell no market about rasta and reggae music and market Jamaica all different type of way. We see it on a fake for you. You know, see it. I know found no artist boy, artist girl when I chat about this, you know. No? Yeah. So let me know what the wolf and boss and I say subscribe to Street Banger, Line is, you know a thing go. Top boss say you live in the dream, upstate you and the oven team, them not say the thing alright. Yo, Lineage, the thing alright. Subscribe, YouTube channel, Lineage, oof. Alright, so for the day to all my viewers and all my subscribers, who are going. So, Jamaica High Court rules, school can now ban dreadlocks, you see me? I have with me here a petition that you could sign to push back the ruling that I'm going to share with my viewers further down in this video. I have a press release from Jamaica House signed by Prime Minister Mr. Andrew Holness giving us his reaction and his views towards the situation. I also have with me a couple of our Jamaica dancehall and reggae stars comments and opinions on the situation. Alright so, stay tuned all of this are forward but before we jump into that I have a short video clip right here with me with a, a principal and a parent having a argument over the situation. Alright? So, let us pray it. Yes, we have your had so many parents coming but to the do school. But do not tell me that my child has a greater risk because of the heat and her hair that she going to get less in her hair versus any other, any other person here. Okay. That is just one. You cannot, you cannot make that assumption. Yes. Well, Based on experience, you know, I don't care if it's a hundred years of experience, you cannot make that assumption. Mr. Robinson, that's a PTA business. All right. PTA and I'm not going to stand up here any longer. Okay, right? Yeah, just one minute. No, nobody else. Yes, yeah, so that was a video circling around with a principal and a parent from a particular school, you see me? And based on where your ears so far, it's like the principal I tell the parent that her child is at a greater risk of catching lice due to how they eat. You see me? And that's bullshit, yo. Because it's all about how you take care of yourself, how often you wash your hair. You see me? But we're living in a world right now where you have some world leaders and some people in power, they want to tell us and dictate to us how to live our life. You see it? So, is it that our freedom gone? Is it that we can't live our life as how we want to live our life? When the universe and the earth, they give us to us free from our ancestors. You see me, so it makes me sit on your side and think right now and I wonder, say, is it going to get worse or is there going to be a change? Because based upon my research, it's like this thing won't forget worse, you know. But there can also be a change. You see me, but it's all up to the people them and the world leaders. The world leaders that the people them elect and put in power to stand up for the people them, stand up for the people's vice. You see me? Yeah, that's what has to happen right now. You see me? So, we have popular dancehall artist Vibes Cartel take to his Instagram, post up the pic, and him caption the pic and say, Yo, democracy dies in darkness. You see it? That was Vibes Cartel comments to us the situation. We also see reggae star Kabaka Pyramid go on his Facebook page and him caption a video saying, Unbelievable to see children in Jamaica being banned from school for wearing locks. This is why I will never stop singing these songs. How can we celebrate emancipation and independence with Rastafari's indigenous culture is demonized? Is it? And him share a video, you see me? And right now, I'm going to share the video with the eye of them. So the dancehall artist Spraga Benz take it to his Instagram and he posts up a pic with the press release coming from Jamaica House and it dated August 1st, 2020. And the press release stated, 
our well, children must not be discriminated against or deprived of their right to an education on the basis of their hairstyle, signed Prime Minister Andrew Holness. Continuing, Prime Minister Andrew Holness has noted with concern the developments surrounding the case of a seven-year-old Jamaican child who was barred from attending school because of the style of her hair. While we await the written judgment to determine the basis of the ruling issued by our Supreme Court, which by media reports have suggested that the child's constitutional rights were not breached, this government does not believe that there should be any law which could be interpreted to deny access to a citizen merely on the basis of their hairstyle. We have, as a rights sensitive government, always maintain that our children must not be discriminated against nor deprived of their right to an education because of the socio-economic issues. Such inability to afford school fees are socio-cultural issues such as their hairstyle, Prime Minister Haulness said. He noted that the Education Ministry as asserted over the years that schools grooming rules must be rights based on that no student be prevented from admission or attendance at a public educational institution by reason of non-conformity with a school rule prohibiting a particular hairstyle in circumstances where the wearing of that hairstyle by the student is based on religious or health reasoning see me so that was the press release the immediate release coming from jamaica house signed by prime minister mr hanjo holness you see me so it's great to see the prime minister uh, uh stand up for the people you see me towards the people vice it's great you see me i say because based on what i see here i'm read here it's like he really did a different the child and you see me i say yes yeah, so it look like we hope we have something where, you know, you know, you know, it, it looks like it hope we have. It's like the ruling can be set back, yeah. So if Mr. Andrew Holden is really mean when say a while ago, and him start to put in the work, we should have this thing set back. But people, you can also make a change, and you can start by here. You see me? You can sign this petition. You see me? You can go and change that orange, and you can find it. You can sign this petition. And say for can set back the ruling. So I said towards this thing about Jamaica High Court rules, school can now ban dreadlocks. You see me? So you can start making a change right here. You see me? Yeah, man, just sign this petition and share it, you know? Because I think they want to reach about 15,000. I think they're going somewhere about 12,000. Really, look how much, you see me? Yeah, probably them get there. I don't know, but. You can just go and click and change that charge and you can see the petition and you can sign it. See me? Yeah man, so a change can start, you know. Yeah man, but it starts with you. Alright? A change can start, but it starts with you. Don't play a blind high, a deaf ears and neglect.